Hey guys, Dino Nix Homestead. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about sweet corn. You can see some that we've planted here. Notice how much the bees seem to like the pollen that's coming off of. I think I've showed this before. Showed you how we planted the corn. How we started with a furrow. We planted the seed in. And then we built up the dirt around it. As it began to grow. Corn has a tendency to fall over in strong winds. You can see that I've actually got some rope tied around it too seem to help keep it from falling over on us. Now corn is a grass and as it grows up it sends out the female which is right here which has all your kernels in the female portion of it. You can see all these little silk that's right here. Each one of those goes down to a kernel that's in the corn and it needs to be fertilized. So what fertilizes it is these tassels that you see at the top can see as they grow out this is the pollen right here that hangs down from the tassels and that's what you need to drop down onto the silk of the corn and fertilize the corn doesn't always do it a lot of times you end up with uh, empty areas where each kernel wasn't properly fertilized so there's a way that you can actually help that to fertilize look at the ground just full of pollen so each one of these tassels actually has a lot of pollen on it. So what I do is I can break this off, this tassel that you see right here, and I can bring it down to the silk that's on the corn, and I can brush it on that silk, and it releases, releases lots and lots of pollen that ends up fertilizing that silk. So that way you help the chances of you getting a full ear of corn when it's all said and done. Yeah, so that's how we do it. Dino Nick's Homestead.